Hi, Esther. Mm. You see. Can you hear me? Morning, everybody. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Still another few minutes before start time. So uh, hope everybody is comfortable and uh, taking care of themselves. Do you have a good breakfast? Marlene, sorry. Do you have enough food, Marlene?
Okay, almost time. If it would be this normal world, it's 1030, I would have already started. <laughs> but, uh, as we know, not the normal world. <laughs> I can't, er. I have to get you unmuted. Hello, good morning, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> we'll give it a couple of minutes. We need you unmuted because, you know, we need <laughs> voice. I know. <laughs> How's everybody? Who's with us? I uh, see Esther, Shabbat Shalom, Gail, Liz, right? Shabbat Shalom, Jan, Rebecca, Keys, Aaron. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Yes, we wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. Wendy's on. Wendy it with the technology. Great. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> So very often um, the rabbi or the cantor, if we're leading a workshop, the name is gonna pop up for us as Mary Mansfield, because that's the general temple account. May, I don't know if we'll be able to change, maybe we can just name that account Temple Sinai. I don't know if that's, we're able to do that or not, but that's a possibility. Um, and so um, we just welcome you all for Shabbat morning service. Um, We'll start in a minute or two. I'll, let me give another two minutes, give other people a chance to uh, join us. And um, we will keep people mute, muted for a while. Um, maybe later on, we'll unmute. And the reason we do that is because there's slight feedback, not feedback, but delay between um, people responding. I noticed that yesterday when Cantor was singing and I was trying to join along or even clap along. And when I was clapping along, my clap came a little after I had given it on the screen and it wasn't syncing. So I think that split second makes a difference and creates feedback and uh, disruption in the prayer. So we're really sorry because we, we love your beautiful faces, but we also love your beautiful voices, but you'll have to just uh, internally share them with yourself and anybody else in the house, cats, dogs, and uh, others um, who might be there with you. Um, and um, later on, we can, um, you know, people can chat, they can say Shabbat Shalom to others. And, um, uh, you know, that the chat works. You, if you don't know how to use the chat, you can chat to everyone or you can press, there's an, uh, a blue a button down on the bottom of the chat space and you can specifically send a private chat to somebody but uh, just be careful because you don't know if you're sending a private chat and it uh, doesn't come out private. So we're, we're, not, we're hoping that people are just, uh, if they're using private chat, it's nothing too serious. And Denise is joining us now. Somebody has stars on that picture. Leslie Newman has stars, that's lovely. So I'm going to start, um, and uh, I'll start with a, uh, a prayer um, from Alden Sullivan. God of creation, grant me a gentle day, a kind and sweet day, a day of light and breath, a day of love and service. Holy One, thank you for renewing me to life, for restoring my soul to my body, and for returning me in joy and gratitude to your gifts and blessings. Amen. We turn to page 192 for the Matogu. By the way, if you only have the flip book, I, I, I don't know if that's in there, but they, um, they add, um, they take off the one at the beginning, so there might be 92, but if you're using a prayer book, it's much easier. Matogu. Matogu, Matogu, Mishkera Tevo Yisrael, Matavu, Matavu, Ohalecha Yaakov, Mishkera Tevo Yisrael, Vani Biro Pazdecha, Hago Bitecha, Eshtahavim, 
Turn to page 195. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe. With divine wisdom, you have made our bodies, combining veins, arteries, and vital organs into a finely balanced network, wondrous maker and sustainer of life. Were one of them to fail, how well we are aware, we would lack the strength to stand before you. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of our health and strength. Baruch ata Adonai rofecho basar umapli laasot. Elohai neshama. Elohai neshama shenatadabi teorai. Elohai neshama shenatadabi turn to the Nisim B'chol Yom, the blessings uh, for daily miracles. Uh, the way I do it at the Torah, at the Shabbat morning minion, and many of you are not faces that I've seen there very often, is I do the beginning in Hebrew together, the Baruch Atah, and then the English on the second line. So um, if you're following along in the prayer book, you'll catch on very quickly. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who has given the mind the ability to distinguish day from night Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who opens the eyes of the blind Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who frees the captive Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who lifts up the fallen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who stretches the earth over the waters Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who strengthens our steps Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who clothes the naked Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who gives strength to the weary Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who removes sleep from the eyes 
slumber from the eyelids. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who made me in the image of God. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who has made me free. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who has made me a Jew. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who girds Israel with strength. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who crowns Israel with splendor. Next page, one four, we say a blessing for study of Torah. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu l'asok b'divrei Torah. And then we read the passage on 206. Elu Devarim, She'ein Lahem Shior. These are things that are limitless, to which a person enjoys the fruit of the world while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early for study, morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, being devoted in prayer and making peace among people. But the study of Torah encompasses them all. Cantor, what should we sing next? Um, Kul Hanishama, page, uh, I think it's two, 218. 218, yes, at the bottom. 118, Psalm 150. Turn to page 223. You shall always be praised, great and holy God, our sovereign in heaven and earth. Songs of praise and psalms of adoration become you, acknowledging your might and your dominion. Yours are strength and sovereignty, sanctity, grandeur, and glory always. We offer our devotion, open our hearts in acclamation. Baruch atadunai, el melech gadol batishpachot, el ahodaot, adon haniflaot. Zimra, 
آمدی به راهی رو دی به امید مهوتی به خواهی هنگو بیام خود خواهی دخوبی دسرایل با جالا با جالا و بیزمان داری به ایم رو آمین یه هیچ مرا با مگرخ لحال مولان میال مایا Yid barach, 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 Amen. We now rise as we turn to the Baruch Hu, page uh, 226, and if you can, you face the east. Shalom <laughs> In his care, Hulana Mehrali Oro, Baruch Atadonai, Yotzer Hame Oro. In place of the books, Avaraba, I'm going to read the following Fountainhead of all life, you who rained your blessings on our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, and on our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, causing their seed to sprout and grow and thrive not only in a land flowing, but in the desert places too. May you likewise shower us, their offspring, and those near us with a wholeness, a restoration of the vessels and its contents. May you pour your favor upon us for the barren furrows. And when we are parched by illness and pain, dried out by distancing and despair, as you have given us Torah, the waters of life, as a source of help for all time, send the waters of life, healing, and peace to all who thirst for them, thirst for peace, for wholeness, and shlemut. Amen. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai May be seated. Good 
Turn to page 239. Emet, there is no place where you are not, even in the wilderness, there is your word. Together, Emet, that pen strokes of lightning, white fire, black flame, stir the soul's passion, guide our sacred way. True and enduring is Torah. Your truth for us is certain and established now and forevermore. Like Moses, Miriam, and all Israel, we sing out and rejoice. Actually, it's very nice that we see your lips moving. That means you're all singing and saying prayers with us. And especially, like Liz started to clap, and it's, it's actually so good to see you clapping because even though you're in your homes, it, it still makes you like one community. And as you clap, you could just see that you're all participating. So just feel free to clap, don't be shy. <laughs> Baruch 
Adonai, God Israel. As we turn to 242 and the tefillah, those who are able and those who are inclined to, please rise. Adonai, Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avoteinu Vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Eliyah, Turn to page 250. <laughs> Shabbat 
53. We offer thanks, O God, for this Shabbat, which unites us in faith and hope. Yes, this Shabbat and this service together unites us. It's so wonderful to be together, to see each other. Uh, those of you who just have names flashing on my gallery screen, it's good to see you too. For Shabbat holiness, which inspires sacred living, for Shabbat memories glowing even in darkness. For Shabbat peace born of friendship and love, we offer thanks and blessing, O God. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh ha-Shabbat. Say Adonai Eloheinu ba'amcha Yisrael utfilatam mi'ahava tikabel. Utihil ratzon tamid avodat Yisrael amecha. El karov l'kol karab p'nei el avadecha v'chonenu. Shifoch ruchacha leinu. Tehazena e nene bishuchal tsion berachamim, Barucha tadunai, a machazir shinato litsion. Page two fifty six. We acknowledge with thanks that you are Adonai, our God, and God of our ancestors forever. You are the rock of our lives and the shield of our salvation in every generation. Let us thank you and praise you for our lives which are in your hand, for our souls which are in your care for your miracles that we experience every day and for your wondrous deeds and favors at every time of day, evening, morning, and noon. O oh God, good one, whose mercies never end, O oh compassionate one, whose kindness never fails, we forever put our hope in you. For all these things, O oh sovereign, let your name be forever praised and blessed. O oh God, a redeemer and helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch atah Adonai, ato shimcha l'cha na'er l'hodot. 258. <laughs> Barheinu yutzveinu kolano kefad Behor panecha Ki behor panecha natato lano Adonai eloheinu Sim shalom Sim shalom tova vracha Hen vahestat verachamim verachamim aleinu Behakor Israel Ve'al kol Yisrael amechad Tzorot chayim ve'af avot chesed Ve'af avot chesed Ve'tzedak avracha ve'arachamim Ve'chayim ve'shalom Sim shalom Sim shalom Tava avracha Hen ve'esed ve'racham Mimaleinu, <laughs> ve'al 
שים שלום, תבוא וברכם, אין בו הרסת ורחמים ורחמים עלינו, ועל כל ישראל, ועל כל ישראל We take a few moments for silent prayer, silent reflection. Our thoughts wander, they come back, but they're important to have. And we pray and ask for the best for the world, the best for all of us. say our prayer for healing and what you can do is when I finish I'm going to ask you if you would like to add a name in the chat and then I will read that name out as I see it appear but please wait to add them so I don't get overwhelmed before I can see them till I finish reading the prayer. Illness coming to the end of life and living with grief are universal human experiences. No one gets through life unscathed. These universal human experiences naturally stimulate spiritual reflection. They reasonably yearn for a communal response. Everyone needs help. We are knit into a vast community of interrelationship. We depend on many to diagnose, perform a test, feed us, and help us to be comfortable in a place that is so vulnerable that it feels alien. We are interdependent. We need a myriad of voices to help us bring expression to the deepest yearnings to have, we have to be whole. We pray for the health of all those in need for courage and strength. Specifically, we think of 
Thomas DiMatteo, Mark Friedman, Elizabeth Friedman, Dorothy Jacobson, Shana Esther Bat Rachel, Chris Sura, Joel Shamaskin, Kaya Necha Bat Rivalea, Simon Breitman, Barbara Bayer, Beata Falkovich, Lawrence Post, Katriel Parachia Ben Hersholeza Vishashana, Michael Wistreich, Sally Graff, Sam Webby, Sarah Bat Abraham Vesara, William Fawcett Jr., Ella Krushkoff, Alan Skirker, Muriel Steinberg, Chaim Ben Sara Dina Yehoshua, Jeffrey Sussman, Laura Braun, Sima Ruchel Bat Esther Fredel, Margaret Kanner, Barbara Phillips, Leslie Lockets, Bobby Johnston, Hillary Bluestein Lyons. So if you type in a name, I'd be glad to read it. Ellen Finkelstein, Gabriel Berger. May the Holy and Blessed One be filled with compassion for all their health, for all them to be restored to strength. May God send renewal of body and spirit, strengthen them, their loved ones, and their caretakers. Amen. Uh, Joel Brill, Patty Newman, Leslie Frank. Any others? Italy, the well, Italy and the world. Joshua Campo, also. Okay, so originally I thought to do the Torah um, after the service, um, but I have a short teaching. If you have a Torah book at home, we're in the book of Exodus chapter 35. And since the crowd isn't too large, if someone has a comment, um, they can unmute themselves for the, for the comment and then get back um, and then remute themselves and then we can have the conversation that way. Uh, we say the blessing before we read the Torah first. I'll read some verses in Hebrew then I'll read them in English and then make comments. And then if you have comments to share, please do so. And if you have the book, the Torah from the uh, modern commentary, it is on page 612, but you might have another Torah book around. Any Torah book would work. You turn to the book of Exodus, you turn to chapter 35. <laughs> Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher bachar banu mikol haamim Venatan lanu et torato Baruch ata Adonai noten ha Torah Vechel Moshe et kol adat b'nei Yisrael Vayomer alehem Ela advarim asher tzivar Adonai lasot otam Sheshet yamim teaseh melecha Vayom ashvii yiyeh lachem kodesh Shabbat Shabbaton ladonai Kol ha'osevo melacha yumat, lo tva'aru eish b'chol moshvatechem b'yom ha'shabbat. Ayom e'moshe, el kol adat b'nei Yisrael le'mor, ze adavar asher tzivad anay le'mor, kum etchem truma l'adonai, kol nadiv libo yivi eha, et trumat adonai, zahav v'chesef v'nechoshet, v'techelet v'argaman v'tola'at shani v'sheish v'izim. ואורות אלים ואדמים ואורות תחשים ועצי שיטים ושמן למאור ושמים לשמן המשחה ולקטור את הסמים ואבני שוהם ואבני מילואים לאיפוד ולחושן. וכל חכם לב בכם יבואו ויעשו את כל אשר ציווה אדוני את המשכן ואת אוהלו ואת נכסיהו ואת כרעשיו ואת כרעשיו את את בריחיו, ואת עמודיו, ואת אדוניו, את אהרון, ואת פדיו, ואת הכפורת, ואת פרוכת המסך, את שולחן, השולחן, ואת בדיו, ואת כל כליו, ואת לחם הפנים, ואת מנורת המאור, ואת כליה, ואת נרותיה, ואת שמן המאור, ואת מזבח 
הקטורת ואת בדל ואת שמן המשחה ואת קטורת הסמים ואת מסך הפתח לפתח המשכן, את מזבח העולה ואת נכבר הנחושת אשר לא, את בדל ואת כל כלה ואת הכיעור ואת קנו, את קלעי החצר ואת עמודה ואת אדנה ה... ואת מסך שער החצר, ואת יתודות המשכן, ואת יתודות החצר, ואת מטריהם, את בגדי השרד לשרת בקודש, את בגדי הקודש לארון הכהן, ואת בגדי בניו לככן. I'll stop reading the Hebrew there. We'll say the blessing after, and then I'll ask somebody to read some English. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים ונתן לנו את תורתו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. Do I have a volunteer to read the English? Okay, Susan, unmute yourself. Okay, did I do it? Yep. You're good. 35-1, right? Yeah. Moses then convoked the whole Israelite community and said to them, these are the things that the Eternal has commanded you to do. On six days work may be done, but on the seventh day you shall have a Sabbath of complete rest, holy to the Eternal. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire throughout your settlements on the Sabbath day. Moses said further to the whole community of Israelites, this is what the Eternal has commanded. Take from among you gifts to the Eternal. Everyone whose heart is so moved shall bring them gifts for the Eternal, gold, silver, and copper, blue, purple, and crimson yarns, fine linen, and goat's hair, tanned ram skins, dolphin skins, and acacia wood, oil for lighting, spices for the anointing oil and for the aromatic incense, lapis lazuli and other stones for setting for the ephod and the, the breast piece. And let all among you who are skilled come and make all that the eternal has commanded, the, uh, the tabernacle, its tent and its covering, its clasps and its planks, its bars, its posts and its sockets, the ark and its poles, the cover and the curtain for the screen, the table and its poles and all its utensils, and the bread of display, the lampstand for lighting, its furnishings and its lamps, and the oil for lighting, the altar of incense and its poles, the anointing oil and the aromatic incense, and the entrance screen for the entrance of the tabernacle the altar of burnt offering, its copper grating, its poles and all its furnishings, the laver and its stand, the hangings of the enclosure, its posts and its sockets, the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs for the tabernacle, the pegs for the enclosure and their cords, the service vestments for officiating in the sanctuary, the sacral vestments of Aaron, the priest and the vestments of his son for priestly service. Thank you, Susan. We'll stop there. Uh, if anyone um, has a comment, please um, just sort of wave or uh, speak up. Um, you unmute yourself for your comment. Uh, last night I spoke about the first word in the whole Torah portion in Hebrew, Vayachel, and uh, it means Moses convoked or gathered the people together, brought the people together. Um, and it very, um, I think significant that when the people decided to rebel against God with the golden calf, the same word is used in a different verbal form. They gathered. Not someone gathered them, but they gathered on their own. And so this portion of building the sanctuary, of bringing all those gifts, of bringing all those um, precious items that imagine you're coming out of Egypt, how much do you have? And yet they're willing to bring it and they bring it. That is done after the golden calf. And so this is significant that it seems that the tradition teaches us that this 
gathering for this occasion occurs on the day after Moses descends from Mount Sinai with the second set of tablets. The second set of tablets. Um, he comes and he brings them to the people. And what does he teach? Anybody, what does he teach first? Uh, he teaches, he reminds everybody of the Sabbath. Right. So before we get to building the sanctuary, before we get to that place, we get to that time, that special time that makes Israel Israel. All religions have Sabbaths in a way, but not like we do. We have it a little bit differently. Everybody has their own version of it. But all religions have sanctuaries. And they can be creative in any way they wanted to be created. But it's Sabbath. And as Achada Am taught us, more than Israel has kept the Sabbath, the Sabbath has kept Israel. So as we gather together from our individual sanctuary, something I mentioned last night, we are safe in our homes, we are secure in our homes. They are our sanctuaries for the moment. We have Sabbath together. We have Sabbath together. And then he tells the people what not to do. What aren't they supposed to do? Don't work on Shabbat. Don't work on Shabbat and? Don't light fire. Don't light fire, don't kindle lights on Shabbat. And this became one of the great controversies in Jewish life. Did you know that? That this was a split, a revolution, when there was a group of people who were not happy with the rabbis who were leading them at the time. They are called Karaites. They decided that they would read the Torah more literally not the, through the interpretations that the rabbis brought about through the Talmud and the Mishnah, um, Mishnah and the Talmud and all the teachings that they had and the understandings. And so the rabbis emphasized that it doesn't say what the Karite said it was said. The Karite said, it says no lights, no fire. And they would sit in dark homes. And by the way, they didn't always live in uh, warm climates. In the middle of winter in Ukraine, in Poland, in Russia, where there are Karite communities, they were sitting in dark places, cold places. And the rabbi said, no, it says, don't do it on the Sabbath. And so the rabbis instituted that you could light lights and put the heat on before the Sabbath begins. And they made it into a ritual. That ritual didn't exist from the time when Moses gave the commandments or the time, early Talmudic times. It was the rabbis that answered to what the um, Karaites were doing that instituted what we do on Friday night, which is kindle the Shabbat lights, and they form the blessing. So this we're talking about not quite 2,000 years after Moses that this ritual comes into being, and yet we see it as one of the most primary rituals of them all. Any thoughts or comments? I should mention some Karaites today have um, decided to turn the lights on in the heat. Gail, you want to say something? Down at the bottom left, John, you can I think. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so thank you, Rabbi. Um, as I listened to Susan read the, the English, I couldn't help but think of the times we've spoken about that passage and how all the, you know, that, that we rest, number one, on the Sabbath, and two, the, the things of value that were brought, very specifically enumerated to construct, in, to construct the tabernacle. And, um, I think in our times right now, what, what just had hit me during the reading is that we are in a, in a pause for sure, although I think everybody here present is working in, in some fashion. But I think the gift that we bring to this prolonged Sabbath, if you will, that is of highest value is our consciousness, you know, our, our love. And uh, that that is what is called upon us 
to do right now. That it is, it is the time of non-materialism. It isn't the lapis lazuli. It, the thing that we can bring the most is our heart and our open mind. That's all. Thank you. And that leads me to the craftsmen. The craftsmen are Betzalel, and there is an interesting little midrash about Betzalel. Let me see if I, I have I've written it down. Um, that um, Betzalel questions Moses about the instructions. Moses, our teacher, it is universal practice that one first builds a house and then brings in the furnishings. But you say, make me an ark, furnishings, and tabernacle. Sort of the reversed order. Where shall I put the furnishings I am to make? Can it be that the Holy One, blessed be God, said to you, make a tabernacle, an ark, and furnishings? Moses replied, perhaps you are in the shadow of God. But Sal El, but Sal El, the shadow, but it's part of his name, El, and you knew. And Gail, I thought of that midrash to, to bring it to us at this point because of what you said about the heart. How are the craftspeople described? They are chachme lev, wise of heart. They give of their heart. Their talents come from their heart. And there isn't a person that I know who doesn't have a heart and therefore has, everyone has talents of the heart to give and to share with all of us. Anybody else? Susan? A thought about how I'm feeling about being part of this online experience, which I, you know, I've never done before. I loaded Zoom yesterday and here I am. Um, you know, and the way we live our lives today, uh, time is the most precious thing um, and attention, time and in, in our attention uh, in the world of multitasking and, and running, just running, running, running. I just wanted to say that I appreciate I appreciate everybody's time and attention, and I appreciate this experience of being together, and it means a, a lot to me, a great deal. And I just wanted to say thank everybody for this beautiful gift. Thank you for thank sharing. You. Thanks everybody for being here. For us who are so used to seeing and being with you, yeah. it's so important for us to see you and to be with you, and we know we're with you in many ways, and we'll continue to do that. So we're going to turn to the um, back to the prayer book, unless anyone has another thought that they'd like to share. I was struck by when I, because those of us who are doing Daf Yomi, we just finished all an enumeration of everything you're not supposed to do in public spaces and private spaces. And you can't hold something not 10 feet above the ground, but you can hold it nine feet above the ground. How did we get to there? I mean, wh why did all those, how did all those disputes sudden, you know, come to the point that the rabbis actually mentioned them in the Talmud? I think they were um, extremely careful about that every word, every comment in the Torah has a meaning. And because of that, they have to figure out what these things are. And therefore, it talks about spaces and moving you know, how far you can travel, you can't travel, you can't, what, is, what does it mean? Malacha, you shall not work, doesn't mean you shall not work. It means you shall not do certain tasks that are described as the tasks you don't do on Shabbat. And then they have to define that. And mm -hmm. they're very, very careful, and they're very, very, um, maybe from my perspective, sometimes overly picky about that. But there's usually something on the page that I get out of it. Um, and so um, it, maybe it's, it's a reminder that we have to be careful with the spaces we're in and the spaces we're not in and moving from space to space. And what do we do and when do we do it? Are there times we have to be more careful from that or are there times that it's, it's free for, free or you know, not on the Shabbat? So I think that may have something to do with Rebecca. I can't give you the exact reason. I, I wasn't there. I know I'm close to that, but I wasn't. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so we are ready to turn to the Alenu. If everybody's with us, it's 586. For those who are able and uh, choose to, please rise. <laughs> recently taken from us, those who died this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. This Shabbat, we offer sympathies to those who mourn the recent deaths during a period of Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning, for Jean Buckman, Francis Applebaum, Maria Madonia, Dorothy Rosen, Misha Koretsky, Judith Holmes. We also remember the art sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Tzipura Adar, Faye Levine Arbus, Sandy Baxter, Sarah Brodsky, Ida Brown, Phyllis Rapp Brown, Agnes Caselli, Ray Cohen, Harriet Steinberg Krug, Mordechai Dror, Margaret Ebner, J. M. Edlinger, Marshall Falk, Pierre Fenster, Miriam Fishgold, Ben Trindell, Thelma K. Glasner, Barbara Goodman, Lillian Gould, Molly Gross, Diana Guest, Annette Itkin, Bernard Jacobs, Joseph Kyle, Herbert Kevin, Walter Leventhal, Abe Levitt, Morris Lux, Mildred Lux, Ida Mendler, Sanford Meyerwitz, Bernard Micklin, Rachel Morrison, James Murphy, Leonard Newman, Richard Phillips, Fanny Rosenblum, Ruben Rosenblum, Seymour Sabeson, Leonid Sandberg, Herman Sarakin, Eileen Schneier. Are there any other names? You can type them in the chat. Samuel Kessler. And the memories all be for blessing. Mourner Scottish was found on page 598. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shimei rabah the Almad, the Brachurute, the Amlich Malchute, the Chayachon, the Yomechon, the Chayedakol, Beit Israel, Bagalav is man Kavi, the Amru Ame, the He Shme, Rabba Mibarach, the Alam Lome Omaya, the Barach, the Shabbat, the Paar, the Tromami at Nase, the Tadar, the Talev, the Talal, Shme, the Kurisha, the Rihu, the Lam in Kobir Katav Shirata, Tushbekatav and Nechemata. Da Miran via Maviam Ru Ame, Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, the Chayim Aleni via Kol Israel via Ru Ame, O Se Shalom in Ramab, who ya a Se Shalom, Aleni via Kol Israel via Kol Yashvetevel via Ru Ame. The God creates peace in the heavens above, the peace to send on us and all Israel and all humanity throughout the earth, and let us say Amen. Amen. Seated Cantor, the closing song. O Se Shalom. I was thinking, uh, page 647, Oseh Shalom. 
And also, while Rabbi is um, getting something, uh, I would like to just make an announcement and say that for those who know someone who doesn't know how to use Zoom or technology, email us, the rabbis and myself. We have a person in the congregation who is actually a Zoom specialist. We will connect her, uh, all of you or anybody who doesn't know how to use the Zoom will connect with that person and she can set you up and help you because um, it's crucial for right now to stay for us connected. And um, so we can call each other on the phone, create small haburas, Zoom haburas, conference call, anything just to keep us connected. I think this connection will help us get through the crisis and to stay connected is now very crucial. So please reach out and let us know if you need any help with technology, any technology will set you up with the person and she will help you. So you can join us for any Zoom or other conferencing, anything. For so long, I was thinking to end on a happy mood. to say Kiddush and hope that you are able to have a Kiddush lunch. Uh, some people are trying to think of a way we can do this together in coming weeks, so we're going to get creative, aren't we? Baruch Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei peri hagafen. Amen. Mechaim. And I want to share this uh, closing words of this prayer by Trisha Arlen. Blessed Yah, creator, created, creating. We pray for peace for ourselves and the world. Even if only for one day, instead of anger, we choose kindness. Instead of revenge, we choose justice. Instead of resentment, we choose empathy. Instead of work, we choose rest. Instead of ideology, we choose compromise. Instead of destruction, we choose community. Instead of fear, we choose endurance. Instead of invective, we choose prayer. Instead of violence, we choose peace. Blessed Yah, creator, created, creating, we give thanks for this day of peace. May it change us, may it change the world. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Thank you for being here. We'll see you again soon. Shabbat Shalom. 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 So please join us on Monday with Rabbi's Torah from Sinai, with Rabbi Ketz at noon. And Wednesday for healing service at noon by Zoom. You can find all the links in our website, first page on the website. Thursday, music for the soul at noon. 
and um, religious school Wednesday at 5.30 and Sunday at 10 a.m. Are the Zoom numbers always the same? No, you have to press on the link on the web page on the Sinai um, homepage or the e if you get an email with those. So the Zoom numbers do change. By the way, services are also going to be archived on the um, Sinai homepage. Right, so yesterday, yeah, yesterday's service already was archived. It's already archived, last night's service. Whoever missed last night's service can, can look at the archive. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Stay safe and stay tuned. Shabbat shalom. Isaac, you're getting ready for your bar mitzvah, I see. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Isaac. Thank you, everybody, for connecting with us. I look forward to see you on Zoom. <laughs> stay tuned. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, everybody.